All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to make the greatest comeback of your life. Maybe you were injured, maybe you came out from a breakup, maybe you lost your job, just something crazy's happened in your life and you need to like reinvent yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the greatest comeback of your life. All right, so maybe you woke up one day and you're like, you know what, fuck this. I'm tired of sitting in the pain cave, I'm tired of being depressed, I'm tired of doing all this, and you're like, I just, I gotta change something. I gotta make a change, and it has to happen now. You have all the motivation that you, you need right now to make the change, but that doesn't mean like in 10 minutes you're not gonna get some self-limiting belief, some sort of fear, anxiety coming up, some story that tells you you're not enough, and then you'll just stop. And then you, all that energy and motivation is just gonna go away. So this is what you gotta do because you cannot rely on motivation to move forward or to make any kind of change. And you'll see this over and over and over and over again. It doesn't matter what book you read about habits or lifestyle or 10Xing your life. If you're relying on motivation, it's just not gonna work. So we have to set up a series of systems and processes which you can always fall back and rely on regardless of how you are feeling in any given moment. And because your habits and mindsets are so critical. We need to get you into an environment where you can make the most change, which means we got to cut out external influences. So you need to start cutting out your social life. Not, don't get rid of your friends and all this stuff, but you're going to have to start drawing back. You have to start disappearing so that you can come back better. So in other words, if you're dealing with a bunch of stuff that's causing you to drink a lot and you want to make a comeback, you're going to have to get those set those, stimulus is out of your life. You have to start getting these things out of your life that are pulling you down and drawing you into the old habits and mindsets. Most habits are only there, most addictions are only there because of the environment. You take a man out of his environment, his whole life will change. So what we wanna do is we wanna minimize the external environmental shifts or things that are happening. Maybe you need to go and live in another state for a couple of months. Maybe you need to go on a trip. Maybe you just need to cut out all the negative influences in your life. Maybe stop watching the news. I'd recommend you do that anyway. Withdraw from certain people that are toxic in your life. You have to get back and get back into center. You want to disappear a little bit so that you can take a step back and start making the pivot. All right, so from this point, you want to get clear on the facts of today. Where are you at today? Where are you at in this pocket of what needs to change? Like, where are you at right now, right? If you've been through a breakup, it's like, yep, I'm sad, I'm in the pit, I'm really, I'm really trying to move forward. Like, this is me right now, just real, raw, relevant to the situation. You gotta tell the truth of where you're at today. If you don't tell the truth about where you're at today, you won't have a baseline to measure your growth against. So get really clear on where you're at today. Take a journal. Take some time, write this all out. Just do stream of conscious journaling. This is where I'm at today. This is how I'm feeling and this is what's going on with me. And this is why I wanna make this change. This is the change because this is what happens. This is the cost of me not changing. And get really clear on the cost of continuing to be the same. Get really clear on all the facts of today, what needs to change, what needs to pivot, what you need to stop doing, what you need to start doing and start getting clear about that. That's the first step. You gotta get clear on the facts of today. The next step is what is the compelling future that you're trying to go towards? What is the transformation? What is the end game? So in other words, if I want to, let's say get healthy in my body, I need to know what the end game is. If I wanna look jacked as hell, it's gonna be different than I need to lose 50 pounds. So you wanna get clear on what the end game is and say, what is that end game? Okay, what's the end game here? And then we can start backwards looking at how that's going to happen. If I know what the end game is, then I can say, okay, I can say, okay, well then in one month this has to happen, and then three months this needs to happen. Maybe you start with a year, then you break it down into quarters, then you break it down into weeks, then you break it down into days. And then from this place, you can do the next step, your habits. So in your habits, you usually want to start with your morning routine. And if you can't get your morning routine right, start looking at your evening routine. Because most of the time, if your morning routine isn't on point, it's usually you're sabotaging it by the night before. Maybe you're drinking too much, staying up too late, getting on your phone too much. And so you end up sabotaging your sleep, which makes you sabotage getting up, and then you're hungover, or whatever the hell's going on. And so you can't get started in your morning routine because you can't get your evening routine going. And for an example, you're trying to lose weight. Right, and you wanna back up, you say, hey, I gotta work on this thing here. I've got diabetes, I need to work on my weight because I'm gonna have a heart attack, I'm gonna have whatever kind of things happening in my life, I'm not a doctor. But if you have all these things happening in your life, like I gotta back up and make a change. Back up, you get away from all these external influences, you cut all the net junk food out of your house, you stop going to places where, you know, stop doing the fast food, you only buy the things in the store that you're gonna eat. Right? What's the end game? Getting clear on the facts of the day. This is what I'm eating. This is how I've been operating. This is where my, my diet's been going. And where do I want to be? What do I have to do over here? And then we look at, okay, what's the morning routine that's going to be, that's going to enforce this? What's the thing that has to happen? Anytime you want to make a transformation, this has to now become the way you operate. Not for just now 
but for the rest of your life. You don't want to be like Oprah Winfrey where you get large and small and large and small. No, you want to make a transformation. A transformation means you become different. It doesn't mean you keep changing. It means you're different, completely transformed, which means that this is how you're going to operate for the rest of your life. And so this is the problem that a lot of people have. Like, yeah, I need to get back in weight, or I need to stop drinking, or I need to spend more time with my kids, or I need to spend more time with my wife. And so I'll do that. And then what they end up doing on the flip side of that is they just do just enough to make it a little bit better, then they go back to how they were. And so they play this game of the sine wave and they never actually make the transformation or the pivot. They just do just enough to get by and that's how most people operate on all levels of their life. And so for you, you have to start thinking, okay, what are the habits and mindsets necessary to have the transformation and that I'm gonna have to do this for the rest of your life. Your transformation has to be for you. Can't be for me, can't be for your boss, can't be for your kids, it can't be for your wife. It has to be for you. And so I was over at a, at a large convention and there's a guy, I keep talking about weight for whatever reason. And, cause it's just on my mind today. I was at this large convention with these guys and they're talking about the category of body. In other words, our health. And like, what do we gotta do to make the transformation? We had this guy there, he was very large. And he kept saying, like, he was in a breakout session. He's like, okay, well, why, why is losing weight important for you? And he's like, well, you know, my kids, I want my kids to, you know, look up to me. And I want, you know, my wife to be more attracted to me. And the guy to my right says, no, you do it because you're fucking fat. Dude, what are you talking about? You're going to die. You're not going to see your kids graduate. You've already had two heart attacks. You just told me that two minutes ago. What are you talking about? And he called him out because the guy wasn't really serious about it. He's still playing this game of, I'm just going to do just enough, I guess. I don't really want to do this. And what's the shortest amount of time that I have to do this so I can stop doing it? And he wasn't really looking for the transformation. And so the guy to my right told him straight up, like, this is what's going to happen to you, man. Like, you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the results of ignoring reality. This is what's going to happen. You will not see your kids graduate high school. You're 45 now, and you've already had two heart attacks. It's not going to fucking happen. You're just not going to make it. There's no old fat people. There just isn't. And this is what he was telling the guy. And he was right. And so in this situation, or I know I have another guy who runs a program who works with guys who are alcoholics or have a hard time drinking. And he says the same thing. It's the same game. It's all about addiction, right? And so it's like, you have to get yourself moving in the direction that you want to do for you, not for somebody else. In other words, you have to look at the cost of what's going on and you have to do it for you. And so there's a sense of not giving a fuck about other people in this, in this transformation because you cannot do it for somebody else. Because as soon as their opinion changes, you're not gonna to wanna to make the, it won't be a transformation, it'll be a change for their opinion. And you'll still be stuck in the same place as you were 10 years ago. So your transformation has to come from a place of, this is how I'm gonna operate for the rest of my life. I have to be different, I have to operate different because I'm tired of being in this place. You know, there's a cost. There's always a cost to anything in life. You can either call the cost of staying the same, which is you're gonna get a lot more of what you have, plus adding on top of that, all the bad shit that happens for that, and the regret of that you couldn't do it at the end of your days. And you're gonna feel like a failure. Your life will be defined by failure. Or there is the pain, the cost of doing the action, which is not pleasant either. That sucks too. But at least on the end of that, you get to have the fruit of the endeavor. You get to have that sweet fruit and you can be proud of yourself. You get to overcome that fear, overcome that hardship and hurdle, and you can be proud of yourself. And that's where your inner security comes from. That's where your confidence comes from, is going through and conquering yourself. And that is the mindset of somebody who wants to transform. I am willing to lean into whatever pain is necessary to get the thing that I desire. My why has to be so compelling that I will do it. Like that man I talked about a minute ago. If he does not lose the weight, if he doesn't get fit, he will not see his boys graduate high school. His children will be fatherless. And this whole time he's been deluding himself into thinking it's not that bad, it's not that bad. If you wanna make a comeback in your life, you have to get the mindset of transformation, which means this is how I'm gonna operate for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna just do it for a few months. I'm gonna change permanently. And this is what has to happen for guys who wanna save their marriage too. And that, I know a little bit about that because that's mainly what I work on with guys. You wanna be the guy that doesn't get cheated on, you have to operate differently. You have to be the kind of guy who never gets cheated on. I don't care about your past. 
This is what's required to be successful. If you want to be successful, you go through the pain and hardship of becoming that guy. You can change who you want to be. Anybody can change who they want to be, but they have to be willing to do it and they have to have the compelling reason why. And having your wife's validation and not feeling like a loser is not a big enough compelling reason why leaving a legacy for your children, stopping the cycle of betrayal, losing weight, not having a heart attack because your kid, these are compelling reasons why. And so for you, if you're having a hard time with your habits and mindsets and everything, you just don't have a compelling reason why. You're never gonna do it just for the sake of the thing. You gotta have to do it because there's a greater why, a greater compelling vision on the other end of it that you want to get. And now this is just a vehicle to get that vision. If you're watching this, you're probably in a place that you need to make a change, a massive transformation in your life. Who knows what it is? I don't know what it is. You know what it is. It's on the tip of your tongue right now as you're watching me speak to you through this camera. You know what you need to do. You know what needs to change. You have to be willing to go through the hardship and the pain of that change or you will never get what it is that you require. It is not gonna happen. You have to be willing to make that transformation it has to be something that you change for the rest of your life. It has to be a non-negotiable because what will end up happening, the other side of it is like, I'm going to make a change here and then I'm going to drop off. Then I'm going to change here and I'm going to drop off. And the entire game is being defined by, okay, I'm doing good enough. I guess I can back off. And then, oh, I'm completely sick of myself. I can't believe I'm disgusted, so I better get back on the horse. And you fall off and get back on. You play this game. And every time you do this, your life gets more and more defined by failure and weakness. And this is a problem because every time you put up another failure in your mind, you're thinking, I can't do this. I can't actually make this transformation. And it keeps getting rooted further and further and further and further in. Don't believe me? Look at your life right now. Look at other people that whose lives are completely defined by their addictions or their health problems. They keep going into this place and it just keeps reinforcing because they don't make the transformation. They don't make the pivot because they don't see the power of what it means to make a life change, a life transformation, not just a small change for here and now. So if you're ready to take a transformation in your life, watch this video right here, How to Elevate Yourself as a Man. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more like it, hit subscribe. I love you, brother, and I'll see you in the next one.